whole lot, I know there's a lot to process and digest there from everything that went down, but from your perspective, uh, what did you see down the stretch, both in late and regulation, also in overtime, that kind of gave Sacramento a little bit of an edge? Um, I think it started with the third quarter. We just came out quite slow, and they just came out hot in the run, and that just like, gave them momentum for the second half. Positive. You, Paolo, and Franz really had your way getting into the paint, scoring at the basket. Was that kind of the initiative going into the game to kind of use your size to your advantage? Um, yeah, we talked about it a lot because they like to hug up on the three-point line. So we knew, like, on the rolls and, like, we would use, like, each other, like, as screens and, like, to get into the paint because they would hug up everyone else on the three-point line. And that just – that's why we got a lot of points at the basket. Those uh, final seconds, obviously Chuma comes up with a steal, dunks it to tie the game, Dan De'Aaron Fox with the game winner. Uh, I know it was a roller coaster of emotions in that, a moment, in that moment, but what was the mentality like on the court, just kind of seeing it all play out? Um, honestly, I thought we were going to another overtime, but he just dribbled down the court with pace and he hit a pretty crazy shot. Melissa Thomas with Florida National News. So I was asking Paulo this. I'd love to get your take on it. But what do you um, what do you want to work on for yourself personally heading into Monday's game? Um, I think my defense down the stretch kind of like I need to be better on sitting down, especially against against guards. I think that's something I need to focus on. For for yourself, uh, a career night for you. Just what kind of enabled you to, to go off like that, um, especially there toward down the stretch to hit some of those big shots? Um, for me, it's just being aggressive from the start. Anytime I'm just aggressive from the beginning of the game to the end, I think that's when I play at my best. And, and what did you, another career night, or a career night as well for, for Paolo, what, what have you seen from him uh, over the last few games that, that, you know, for him to be able to lead you guys? Uh, not the last few games, just the whole season in general. He's just been great, and I feel like he's been getting better each game, like a lot better. And he's played like he's been in the league for some time. So every game is just a step forward for him. Well, the Kings, they, they came, came back from that 20-point lead you guys had in that third quarter. Because what were they doing or were you guys not doing that allowed them to close the gap and make it a close game down the stretch? It came down to just – they came out with way more energy than us, and – that just hurt us because the game just started going their way and then we're holding our heads down and like they're going on a run and we just need to come together collectively and just because like there's a lot of time left in the game and we just got to keep our heads up. I guess from your standpoint, just maybe the the focus that a young team can lose, just not understanding maybe that you have to keep that same, that same focus you, you had in the first half, you had to keep in the second half or the start of the third quarter because, you know, it's the NBA and teams can get hot like that in that way. Yeah, de most definitely because, like I said, that's kind of what happened. Like, we were up and we were just happy with being up and we thinking they're just going to lay down. But it's the NBA. Teams go on, like, runs as quick as five minutes, two minutes, 12 minutes. But there was a whole 24 minutes left to play and the momentum just shifted when they came out hot. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everyone.